Hey Tigers, my name is Christopher Spellman and I am the Assistant Director for Student Leadership Development at Clemson's Center for Student Leadership and Engagement. At CSLE, we believe that leadership is not restricted to just a position. Anyone can become a Clemson leader and anyone can grow in their leadership abilities. We've created a Clemson Leader Framework to track your growth as a leader from your first day as a Clemson student to your first day as a Clemson graduate. Now, the framework has six actions that all leaders take as they lead, which we call the practices of excellence. These practices are actions that you will take in classes, in the student organizations that you will join, and even in the positions that you will hold in the workforce after Clemson. Six Clemson leaders will explain how they use the practice of excellence in their leadership roles at Clemson, starting with the first practice, communication. Communication is effectively listening to understand the perspectives of others while using verbal and nonverbal modes to communicate your point of view. My leadership experience and mostly it revolves around being an orientation ambassador and communication is very critical in my job. It helps me start off my forms of connecting with students. Personally, my favorite leadership moment is our first interaction with the students for that session. I love answering the first questions of the day and it's so much fun to get to know them and then the rest of the day is so much smoother because I can kind of use communication the catch those little connections always starts off as a great day. Strategic planning is strategically developing steps to create a unified mission and vision that supports individual or organizational values with the intent of achieving goals. I believe that with strategic planning you can do anything. I was working with CSLE, specifically with the Unites. I worked in the office where I was actively planning those events with my coworkers. It really helped to be able to think about external factors or any other factors that can possibly contribute to how the plan works. I think that even with my major, since I want to be a psychology professor after I'm finished, that with planning, it's definitely going to be able to help me interact with my coworkers, my colleagues, and even with students. Building community is advocating for equal participation of individuals across a broad spectrum of identities and experiences to foster socially responsible leaders. My favorite leadership moment at Clemson is welcoming my Connections mentee Evan into college. Leading him and guiding him and mentoring him through college is something I cherish and enjoy. And helping him build community through social events is something I have passion for. Personal growth is seeking to continually improve and develop yourself as a leader through reflection and critical feedback being aware of your strengths, values, beliefs, and capacities. One of the first clubs that drew my attention was Central Spirit. My sophomore year was when I got my first position. Didn't really take a leadership position in between my sophomore and senior years. That honestly taught me more than when I held my first position because I was able to get the perspective as someone who can see what leadership is doing. Coming into my VP external role this year, I've been able to use those lessons that I've learned from that year off of a position. Everyone has an opportunity to grow here at Clemson every single day. Collaboration. Guiding, mentoring, and working alongside others by forming mutually beneficial relationships to achieve a common goal. Collaboration has shown up in my leadership experience mainly through Connections, which is a living learning community for first generation and minority students. So really being able to work with other mentors and mentees, just bringing that bond and showing them the really Clemson family experience that we have. Sustaining legacy is using accumulated skills, knowledge, values and behaviors to create positive, sustainable change on a group, organizational, and or societal level. My sustaining legacy has showed up with this past semester when I ran for student body president of the school. I had to be able to use the knowledge that I had and apply what those cool skills that I've learned with interacting with people. I fortunately got selected to be freshman council in student government. My favorite leadership moment would have to be being an orientation ambassador. I think it was really cool to kind of get to know all the incoming students coming in. I truly identify with trying to remain and sustain legacy throughout my leadership roles. As you heard from your peers here at Clemson, you will have the opportunity to build your leadership skills through the six practices of excellence. The framework provides three levels to help you track your growth, awareness, engagement, and application. You're at the awareness level for a practice of excellence once you've learned what that practice is and how that practice can be implemented. So if you're watching this video, you're already at the awareness level for all six practices of excellence. You can also reach the awareness level by attending lectures and webinars offered at Clemson that connect to any of the practices. After the awareness level, 
you reach the engagement level by honing a practice at workshops or retreats. Think of the engagement level like training wheels. You're using the practice of excellence in a controlled environment so that you can eventually apply it without any assistance. You can combine everything you learn at the awareness and engagement levels and put it into action at the application level. Application means that you are using the practice of excellence outside of a training setting. So that means you can apply practices of excellence in student leadership positions, at a job or a research position on campus, or even in non-defined roles as you interact with other students socially and academically. As you get involved on campus, think about the six practices of excellence. Think about how you're using them, and to what level you're applying them. You'll be able to track your leadership growth and reference it on TigerQuest. Then, as you come to the end of your Clemson journey, you'll have plenty of examples to tell employers that demonstrate how you were a Clemson leader. If you have any questions, you can always refer to our website or contact the Center for Student Leadership and Engagement at csle at clemson.edu. Thanks for watching and go Tigers.